Hey guys, Matt from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game Podcast here, going to be talking about flip summoning and monster actions. I had a comment on one of our YouTube videos today, um, basically just wanting clarification about flip summoning, and we've gotten a lot of kind of similar comments, so I figured I'd try and add some more specificity to the flip summoning question uh, through explaining them as monster actions. So, monster actions. Talking specifically about a monster, one monster, and the kinds of actions that can be applied to it. Um, You can change a monster's position, you can attack with it, or you can activate its effect. So if you activate a monster's effect, it doesn't have any bearing on what you can do later unless it's stated in the card text. So you can activate a monster's effect and then attack later, or then change its battle position, and unless it's stated in the card text, there's no reason you can't do that. Um, However, if you don't do anything to the monster, or you activate its effect or whatever during main phase one, and you go to the battle phase and you attack with the monster, you then, during main phase two, cannot change a monster's battle position. After a monster has attacked, unless there's some kind of effect, a monster's battle position cannot be changed. Now, during main phase one, for example, if you have a face-up defense position monster and you change it to face-up attack, then you can definitely attack later that turn. Um, Or if you change a monster from face-up attack to face-up defense, then obviously you can't attack because you have to attack with attack position monsters. But if you attack, you cannot change a battle position. Um... The only one of the only situations that you cannot change a battle position is if a monster, the monster, had been summoned that turn, uh, which is why why I wrote SL for summon lock. So if you normal summon, if if you summon a monster, if the monster was summoned under the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh, then you cannot change its battle position unless you use a card effect. So change position. You can change position in a couple of ways. You can change from face-up attack to face-up defense. You can change from face-up defense to face-up attack. And I'm only writing those and explaining those just to kind of highlight the difference. Um, You've summoned a monster, it's already face-up, and you can manipulate its position, changing it from attack to defense and defense to attack. However, a flip summon is considered when you, the player, change a monster from face down defense to face up attack or face down attack if it randomly somehow gets into face down attack to face up attack notice there's no face down defense to face down attack or face down attack position to face down defense position there's no flipping a monster around face down into different positions it's just face down to face up There is nothing else. So if you, the player, change your monster from either face down defense or face down attack to face up attack, there's no face up defense, then it's considered flip summoning. And the reason for this is that setting a monster face down obviously gets around things like trap hole, bottomless trap hole, solemn judgment, because you haven't officially summoned the monster yet. You've set it. But when you flip it from face down defense that's the only thing that you the player can put it in you set it in face down defense when you flip it from face down to face up attack then it is considered a flip summon so that cards that can affect a monster when it's played will work on it otherwise it'd be super broken if all you had to do is play a monster face down and then flip it face up there is kind of a way around that it's called getting flipped A face-down monster can be attacked or have a card effect applied to it, but not destroyed. So when a face-down monster is attacked, it gets flipped face up so that you can figure out if the monster is destroyed or if it has any effect. And if it doesn't get destroyed, it just remains face up. It wasn't summoned, so it's just kind of there. Um... There are ways to special summon monsters into face down defense position, but I mean, flip summoning is from face down defense normally to face up attack. Um, 
that I believe is everything. So if you guys have any further questions or think that I missed something or want to comment, leave your comments in the comment section. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Matt from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game Podcast. Take it easy.